Patel to give his special address. Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, Srimati Anandi Ben Patel, Sri Amitabh Khan, Secretary, Government of India, Sri Varas Sina, Chief Secretary, Government of Gujarat, Sri Ajay Shriram, President of CII, Sri Chandrajit Banerjee, Director General of CII, and Sri DJ Pandyan, Additional Chief Secretary, Governor Gujarat, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It was the year 2003 when the first vibrant took place. And I still remember the days when Modi ji talked about bringing investment to the state of Gujarat. This was the days after the massive earthquake which took place in the run of Kutch. It was a small <coughs> seminar with a thousand people. It was basically for attracting investment. And today, we are having a summit 2015, which has been transferred from an investor destination to a global business hub. And over this period of 11 years, Gujarat has changed 360 degrees from what it was and what it is today. Last decade has been one of the best decades the state had ever had. And the full credit goes to <coughs> the existing Prime Minister, Honorable Sri Narendra Bhai Modi. He had a vision, he had plans of how to convert Gujarat into a growth engine of the nation. In the year 2002, we had a lot of economic issues. We are facing all types of problems. And today, if you look at it, we have a lot of strengths. The strength today is basically because of a very strong views that the state should be policy driven. And all our decisions, policies have been framed in such a manner that it has been very, very transparent. Our other strength is of infrastructure. We were a power deficit state. And today, against our demand of requirement of 13,000 megawatts, conventional, non-conventional, together we have 22,000 megawatts. So you can imagine the strength what we have. Second, we talk of generation. But this is one state which also talks of transmission. And every year, even today, we spend around 2,000 to 3,000 crores on building of a transmission network. So anywhere in the state of Gujarat you'd like to go and put in investment, you won't have to worry about the energy. Third is the quick decision making. That was one of also a strength. And one thing I can assure you over here, that our Honorable Chief Minister Anantin Ben Patel, she is known for taking very quick decisions. So you go to her, tell her your issue, and I can vouch on behalf of the whole government that that clarity she has will help the investors and everyone in the government for quick decision making. Our one of our more important strengths is that the least mandate lost in the state other than the countries from the state of Gujarat. So we have a lot of strengths. And finally, when such a massive investment is coming up, we are aware that skill requirement, manpower requirement is also of equal importance. Today we are spending more than a thousand crores only on skill development. And we do take companies as partners so we also are aware of the requirements of the industry. We are open for any suggestions and any views as far as growth is concerned. Sri Amitabh mentioned that we are having a 28 percent GDP, but we have plans to increase it to 32 percent next three years. 
So that is the reason why very important policy decisions are going to be taken by the Chief Minister in the next one, one and a half months. We are working on our new industrial policy, which we are coming up very shortly. Emphasis will be given also on small, medium enterprises. We are coming up with an electronic policy because all, you all know that a lot of imports are taking place in the country in the electronics hardware sector. And center has come up with a very good policy and in the state of Gujarat also would like to replicate the same. So that we want to make electronics also as one of the manufacturing states. IT policy also we think of coming in. So all these things will be done in a very short span of time. And when you are all aware that once we take a call that we want to focus on this sector, we go all out. Automobiles is an example. Today, we were nothing in the automobile sector some five years back. And today, we are one of the hubs in the country which is attracting most of the automobile manufacturers in the state of Gujarat. Textile policy, technical textile policy is also very aggressive and I'm sure maximum value addition from cotton to fabrics will happen in the state. As was mentioned over here, we have a very strong network of roads, strongest ports, which are expanding at a very fast rate, which are building new capacities also. So all this is going to add value and will bring in a lot of investments in the state. Today we have gathered over here for Vandal Gujarat 2015. 2003 we didn't have any partner country, today we are having seven. So this is an event where the partner countries have also a lovely opportunity to focus their countries and enter into joint ventures with Indian partners. Whether the trade happens in India or the trade happens in their country, but it's a win-win situation for all of us. Second time, state pavilions are also going to come in in a massive way. So this, it's not a question of bringing investments only in the state of Gujarat, but the states in our country can showcase the best policies in this event. So basically it's an opportunity for all. And I'm sure all of us over here will take it to the best advantage for everyone of us. I once again invite you to Web in Gujarat 2015 which will be one of the best events ever taken place. And our Honorable Chief Minister is personally supervising each and every event, whether it is a seminar, whether it is a major event, and we hope that it will be beneficial to all. I once again welcome you. Thank you.